Okay. The construction model, right? Modeling for construction. All right, so we're going to do a quick review, and I have to get into a few other things that I want to bring to your attention because it's so important. Now, again, hopefully you didn't write this off as the rantings of a crazed lunatic. This is important. So, again, we could add custom profiles to these as well, right? These custom gaps, if you will. So we talked about that. We can divide the surfaces of these walls up. Now, I have two models open. I have the parts finished, um, and I have the parts start. You can tell the difference between the, divis the, the display. Visual style shade with edges, and this is just visual style consistent colors. The original, okay? Parts model, original model. And the finished parts model, an original model. And the, the finished project. So this is all done with this. Parts model, finished. Okay, now, I'm sorry, start. RVT product, parts, starts, parts model. Now in the finished project, I have the original model and the parts model. Two different projects, two duplicated 3D views, okay? Now, again, we talked about dividing this surface up. Before we go back to that, I want to talk to you about visibility graphics overrides. I need to talk to you about visibility graphics overrides and how important they are, right? We need to talk about visibility graphics overrides and the hierarchy again, where you're going to get lost and you're going to quit. And I want you to quit. Line work is the highest priority. Override graphics in view by element Override graphics in view by element. And then object styles, visibility graphics, override projection cut lines. Okay, and those are the three I want to talk about right now. And I also want to bring up to you override graphics by category. This is very, very important. You'll get lost. The architect, the technical architect, if you strive to be a lead architect, and, uh, and you're a draftsman, and as a lead architect, or the project architect, is presenting a drawing to a client and they say to you, I need you to do this. Run back to your desk real quick before I head out. Change this plot so I can bring it to the uh, client. You have to do, do this. And if you can't, you may go down the road. And uh, I wouldn't want to see that happen to you. you you're going to have to figure it out and I don't want you to give up. So again, the reason I bring that up is because the last passage in this section says, or at least this, this area says, be aware of the parts category. Be w warning, warning, Dr. Smith, because parts are considered a separate category of elements you pay careful attention to how they might affect your views and view templates. Take a look at the visibility and graphics overrides of any view. And you'll see that parts is listed in as object category. This means that once you create parts for a model element, whether the original object was a floor, ceiling, wall, or roof, the parts are all treated as a singular type of object. For example, if you have surface patterns for floors hidden in a view and you create parts of the floor, the surface pattern will appear again unless you have hidden surface patterns for the parts category as well. So, if I came over here and I was to come over to this wolf, this floor, you'll see it's a steel bar joist 14 inch. Uh, I, there was a generic 12 inch floor here. I added material to the top of it, a finish layer. And I'll tell you why I did that in a second. Because what it's saying is if you change the visibility of this floor, uh, it may not, it's not going to change the visibility in the parts model unless you change the visibility of that particular part in the parts model. So we're in the original model. I'm going to select the floor. And notice, before I do that, if I went to the view of, I went to view, and I went to visibility graphics, notice that parts is indeed part of the visibility graphics. I can turn the parts on from the view below it in this view, so you can see the individual parts of the floor as well as the original model floor, which is one complete element, right? Under the category of floors. Category floors, right? Element, family, all these things. There's a hierarchy of it, and it can be very, very confusing. It'll flip you up and down, round and round, round and round. Now, if we dive deeper and we look into this floor, we can see that there is indeed more to it, right? Remember from the floors tutorial, we looked at the structure of this floor, in the edit assembly dialog box, and sure enough, there's a vi vinyl composition tile finish layer, and its material is vinyl composition. 
And in the foreground, when you look at it, there's a pattern. And there's a 12 inch tile pattern, right? That is in here, 12 inch tile pattern. But when it's rendered, when it's rendered, obviously it's not. It doesn't look like that. When it's rendered, it looks like that, okay? That's the rendered appearance of the tile when it's rendered, photorealistically. Okay, now, this is important. There are thermal properties of this vinyl tile. And it does indeed, doesn't transmit light, but it sure does um, conduct heat, if indeed it's heated up. So as you can see, there are some parameters in here that you may not be aware of. This isn't as uh, cut and dry as, as you think. This isn't Google SketchUp. This is, your, this is your mom and dad's calculator. This is something different. In any event, my computer's... You can see all this? And just give me a minute just to show you that. Because I applied the same material to the floor below, to the deck below. This floor also has it. It didn't at first. I just did this to show you this example. If I told you as a draftsman, I don't want this surface tile shown uh, on this floor, but I want us to just see it in the parts model and sent you back to your desk and said, if you don't have it done by three o'clock, you're fired. You might sweat. You might have to dig through for a solution, right? You might have to dig through for a solution. And that's the test. If you don't have this done by three o'clock, you're fired. Because I'm going to a client and I have to show them something. And it's any business I'm showing them. You just got to do it. I do do it because I said so. Do what I say, not as I do. So, and we're here now. And the first thing you're going to think is, well, let me go to visibility graphics in the view, right? Let me go to visibility graphics. You can think turned off in the view, turned on in the view. And if you go to visibility graphics, remember, on the hierarchical pyramid, that might be the first thing you do. And you're going to come over here, and you're going to come down to floors. And you're going to say, okay, well, floors. Common edges, hidden lines, interior edges, slab patterns, where's surface pattern? And then you're going to say, oh, well, well there's patterns here. There's patterns uh, in the projection, and there's patterns on the surface. Oh, but I can't change anything here. They're, they're being overridden. You can't change them. I can, I can do something with the hidden lines, override those, and the slab edges, and I can, uh, when they're cut, these floors, uh, in plan, uh, above or below the cutting plane, I could, uh, when they're cut at the cutting plane, I could override the graphics, uh, well, the common edges of the floor, uh, the hidden lines of the floor, interior edges of the floor, and the slab edges of the floor, but I can't override the pattern, the cut pattern, of these particular uh, 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 lines when they're cut at the cut plane. Uh, and you start getting nervous, because now it's 12 o'clock. And then you're going to come over here, and you're going to look over here, and you're going to find, you look for patterns, and you're going to go, you're going to start getting a bit kooky, and you're going to, your brain is going to start having a, a certain encephalograph pattern. Your encephalograph is going to start to change into a, maybe a little bit of a volatile waveform as opposed to an even keel encephalograph reading. Right or wrong? All I know is that your encephalograph has a lot to do with this. An electroencephalograph. Now, so the next thing you're going to say is you're going to be, oh, what did Lipinski say? And you're going to come back over here. Oops. You're going to come back. Lipinski, what did Lipinski say? And you're going to start looking. Oh, well, I just looked in visibility graphic overrides, projection and cut lines, and, and that didn't help. I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't. And then and maybe you go to the view depth of your uh, view, maybe, right? You go to the view. Oh, well, you're in a 3D view. How am I going to ascertain above and below the cut plane? You may come over here and, 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 and and get nervous and, and come over here uh, to your uh, 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 um, um, uh, view range. You're like, well, wait, I'm in a floor plane. There's, there's no view range. Let me, look, let me look at the visibility graphics. And you come over here and say, oh, wait, there's no visibility. There's no view range to discern whether or not this pattern displays this way above or below the cut line and how it displays in projection above or below the cut line. And you get confused more. And then you may be, be like, oh, I'm a bit. well, now it's one o'clock. And then you're going to be like, okay, well, I got till uh, three, and then I'm going to get fired. And, and, and they're looking at me. They just closed the door, and now they're talking about me. Oh, my God, what do I do? Uh, 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 maybe I'll call a friend. Maybe I can ask someone in the office. Google it, I'll tell them, right? If someone comes up to me, okay, 
Well, you figure it out. Right? No one's going to help you. There's no one going to help you do this. Let's figure it out yourself, right? Maybe you got taught in school how to do it. Maybe you didn't. Anyway, so now you say to yourself, oh, no, it's getting late. It's getting late. What do I do? What do I do? Where do I go? Well, then you say, well, you know what? Maybe, maybe that crazy fuck Michael Lipinski knows what's going on. And you come over here and you grab it and you say, hmm, what other things can I do here? Let's see. Well, what if I went to material, right? It, it, it must be a material, right? So what if I went to manage? And I went to materials. I took a look at it. I said, vinyl composition tile. Well, well, what if I said none? If I turned this to none. Now, I'm just gonna, now there's no vinyl material whatsoever. So that'll do it. Whew, God, I'm not getting my check. Oh, shit. It's, uh, it's, it's off in the uh, parts. And he said he wanted it on the parts and, and off. Maybe it's a different option, right? Maybe it's a different option. That he wants to play to the client. Ah, fuck. It's two o'clock. Now what do I do? Whew, sweat's pouring off your body. Uh, they're talking about you. Oh, the, the, the technical architect's coming to look at you. He ha What's your progress? I'll be ready, don't worry. You'll lie, right? You're gonna lie. Yeah, no problem. Well, I don't see it on the screen yet. Now you're starting to sweat. Your rent's two months past due. The PSEG bill is $1,000. And you know the check's coming. What are you gonna do now, right? Uh, ba boom the heart starts to go. ba boom ba boom ba boom You can't get it to the presentation graphics that they wanted. So now you're like, oh shit. Now what do I do? So you undo that. And then you say to yourself, okay, well, there's got to be a logical, reasonable solution. I know I can find a solution. I know I can find a solution. Well, you say, fuck this. I'm leaving. Let him do it. I'm not a, I'm an engineer. Give it to the draftsman. Okay. And then, or you do something else. You say to yourself, all right, maybe I can figure this out. You, you, you fucking go downstairs and you fucking, you light a fucking cigarette. Jesus, mm. Jesus fucking Christ. I gotta figure this shit out. I'm gonna go fucking nuts. All right, whew. let me see. Uh, what else can I do? Um, 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 um. Now I'm gonna come over here and I say, well, what else? See, maybe, maybe we look at the visibility graphics again, and we say, well, hmm. We go back, take a look, and we double click it again. And we say, well, maybe, maybe that visibility pyramid has more to say. Well, what if we override the line work? No, that's not gonna do it. Hmm. Uh, by object, hmm. Solid edges, uh, graphics overheads. Eh? Where do I go? What do I do? What help me, help me. Anyone, anyone in the office, please. I got till three o'clock. And no one's there to help you. No one wants to help. You're too proud to ask for help. What if you're too proud to ask for help? Huh? What if you're just too proud to ask for help? Right? But the precious building and the client's waiting. And it's a six million dollar job. You wouldn't be on it in the first place. But let's just pretend, pretend it was. So now you're you're fucked. It's 2.30, and you don't know what to do. And then you're saying to yourself, oh, shit, there's got to be a workaround. Maybe I can find a workaround. Maybe I can paint it. Maybe I can just paint it, you know? Could paint it, maybe. maybe just paint the damn thing, maybe, right? Find the paint tool, maybe run around. You look, you go to architecture. You look over here at the toolbar. You're like, where was that tool again? I, I know, it's around here somewhere. Uh, 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 maybe, uh, maybe... Um, uh, it's in the family uh, dialog box editor. Maybe it's maybe it's not in this in this uh, this, this toolbar. And you look over here, and then you start looking over here, and then you're starting to go crazy. And you're wondering, what do I do? What do I do? Where is it? Where to go? They moved the toolbar again, and then you, you don't know where to go, and you don't know what to do. And you, you can't call a friend, uh, 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 so you have no friends. And then and you look over here, and you can't find. And you're like, oh no, what do I do? What do I do? And then you. you, you, you you start to sweat again, you send out emails, you're searching on the internet, you're looking for solutions, and you can't find it. You say, well, maybe I can paint it. And if I went to this view, I don't know if I went and just said, uh, 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 I'll go, I don't know, air barrier, and painted it. Well, that did, okay, that, that was a solution. Oh, and it's still on, well, that's maybe a solution. And you say, well, that's not really the right way to do it. And then you undo it. You say, no, 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 no. There's gotta be another way. There's gotta be another way. And then, you know, that worked, okay, whew. All right, so I got to work around. If, they, if, God, if push comes to shove and I got to get this fucking thing out the door, at least I know I can paint it. And, and then you say to yourself, all right, maybe you light another cigarette and you get a little notch block. You say to yourself, okay, well, I got a solution. Let these bastards put the pressure on me. Let these bastards put the pressure on me. And at least I know I got a solution down the road. Right? At least I know at the end of the day I'll have a solution. Or maybe even after I get fired, I'll have a solution. Maybe I'm waiting to apply the solution.
this week. You already know, and you don't do it. You just actually don't get it done by three o'clock, and they fire you. But you already have a solution, right? What about that? Wow, only a mid man would do something like that. What if you wanted to go in there to ascertain the company's culture? Now, but again, let's pretend that's not the case. Let's pretend that you really are scared shit like me in real life of losing everything that you own and you have to find a solution or you're going to lose your job. And then you come over here again and you say, okay, well, maybe if I take another look, maybe override graphics. Oh, wait a second. That's right. Lipinski said, within the context of selecting something, you'll be able to invoke another tool within the context of and you say, well, what if I went and I went and I went to elements and I overrode it by element and I went back and I said, hold on, you go back here, override graphics in view by element. I got this dialog box that popped up and it said, well, visible, well, I'm going to hit visible, turn it off and hit apply. Oh, well, the whole damn thing got turned off. That's not going to work. Turn it back on. You apply. All right, so I said to myself, oh, wait a second, look at that. There's a surface pattern, the projection lines. I remember seeing that in the visibility graphic overrides dialog box. I remember seeing projection lines. Something about projection lines and, and, and surface patterns and, 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 and cut patterns and, and cut lines. Something about a cut plane and above the cut plane and below the cut plane and the actual cut plane itself and, uh, 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 and setting those things above and below the cut plane. But you're like, your heart's beating. Ba-boom, ba-boom. Now it's three o'clock. It's almost noon. It's 2.35. It's 2.35 and you're, you're, you can't go downstairs and smoke a cigarette. You can't go down and, 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 and smoke a cigarette. Uh, you, but, 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 I got kids. I, I, I need this job. I, I got kids. I, I, I have a home and, and, and my wife is angry and, 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 and and you have all, uh, please, 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 I, 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 I got kids, uh, I got kids, I got a newborn, please don't fly, I, mean, I, got, I got a newborn. And you're really fucking nervous and you want to go downstairs, mm, you want to smoke a cigarette. <laughs> and, I'm sorry, I'm not going to have fun with this one. And then you see yourself, fuck it, I got to figure this out, right? You got to figure it out, you got to find a way. But no matter what, no matter what it takes, those fucking kids, they don't shut up, they want more fucking toys. Those toys you got for Christmas wasn't enough. They said to them, no, Dad, that guy's father, he bought him fucking $4,000 worth of toys for Christmas. I only got a fucking piece of coal in my fucking stocking, Dad. Why the fuck does that kid get $4,000 worth of toys every Christmas? And I only got a piece of fucking coal in my stocking, Dad. And I said, well, fuck you, you little fuck, you ungrateful You should be having your food on the fucking table. So anyway, then the plot thickens. You say, okay, well, you know, the kids, they'll fucking scream at me. Veruca, Veruca, I want an Oompa Loompa now, Daddy. She's screaming, Dad, I want an Oompa Loompa now. Okay, Veruca, I'll find you a golden fucking ticket. I promise, I'll find you a golden ticket, Veruca, no matter what it takes. Right? Veruca, you might have a child like Veruca, and you got to figure it out, or Veruca's going to be pissed. And she's gonna scream at you, you miserable piece of shit. You know, you're not a man, you know, man, you fuck me. Uh, look at that man over there. Look at how much money he makes. You, you, you obviously a piece of shit. You can't, you, you can't even feed your fucking kids. I look at this fucking clothes. I wanna go to Macy's, she might say. Your wife might say she wants to go to Macy's. And all her friends go to Macy's and she gotta shop for her clothes at the dollar store. You know, this could be all happening to you all at once. So you have to be able to smoke fucking cigarettes all day long until you drop dead. You know, that being said, you say to yourself, okay, well, what? maybe, you know, you edit the visibility uh, specific element by graphics. You say, okay, well, the specific element. <clears throat> all right, well, let's see here. Pattern by object style, right? By object style. Hmm, but wait a second, wait a second. We, we shut off the visibility of the element, and we saw it happen, and shut off the whole element. And, but it stayed on in the view, in the parts visibility, right? We noticed, we made a note of that. We made a note of that, right? And then, you come over here, and you said, well, surface patterns, by material, right? By material. You said, well, I know that there's vinyl tile associated with it, and vinyl tile has a 12-inch cut pattern. And uh, its surface pattern was uh, vinyl tile, but it was 12-inch tile surface pattern. But when we turned, we said that the uh, finished layer was none, it started off 
love them both. And that didn't work. So we said, logically, reasonably, then you say to yourself, well, hmm. Ah, no, if I do it by, uh, by, 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 by element, it's going to fuck it all up. Let me try a different way. Then you come back over and you do it by category. So what if I override the graphics review by category? Category. Well, category, lots of floors. Right? There's lots of floors. As a matter of fact, we have this generic 12-inch floor that I added the 12-inch vinyl tile to. Vinyl. It's vinyl. Oh, it's vinyl. And the, uh, the, 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 the floor with the bar joist on it, uh, and the topping slab, we added a vinyl tile to it, to, to it as well, right, right? So maybe if I shut off the, the category itself and hit apply, ah, shit, all the floors got shut off. All of them. And I ain't even more. That ain't gonna work. I'll turn them back on. Okay, well, let's say well, surface patterns, and fuck it, let's just do surface patterns. Let's, let's say, let's turn all the surface patterns off. All oh, right. They're all off by category. Cancel. Let's go back to element again. Override graphics in view by element. Surface pattern. Apply. It stayed on there on by this element, but the 12 inch the generic concrete wall or floor that I augmented with the vinyl tile below it, it didn't. Yet it still remained on in both floors in the parts model. If you want to learn how to subdivide this part, this uh, the part model, up into different profiles, look at the last two uh, parts of the uh, gap that I had uh, produced prior to this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want something bad enough, and if you want it for the wrong reasons, you might not get it. But if you want something bad enough for the right reasons, you may. Okay? But uh, all facetiousness aside, uh, you could just be happy with your lot in life. You've attained this level of comfort. Your stress level is not that bad. You're able to exist, and, and that's okay for you, and, and I'm not going to fault you for that. But, don't you dare, don't you dare ever critique me for what I'm trying to do, and judge me by what you may have perceived to be a because it wasn't. It was something else. And until you realize that, you're going to be alone in the fucking dark. Take that to the bank too.